Hi there, Chicken Nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Andy. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hey everybody, sorry for the weird stares, but we're in something big. That's right, we are attempting to break the world record for staring continuously into a camera lens without blinking. Yep, so far we're at six hours and 32 minutes. I don't know how much longer I can take, Carl. Don't quit, Andy! We can do this! Wait, we have four more hours. Oh, I can't do it anymore. Ah, oh, stink! <laughs> well, maybe we can think of another record we can break. Maybe we can break the fastest to devour a burrito record. No, can't do that. I'm allergic to burritos. Oh, that's right. Maybe we can break the record for most Rubik's Cubes solved underwater. You know I can't do that. I'm allergic to water. You knew that. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry. Uh, that's my bad. I'm, I guess I'm not sure then. What about the cup stacking record? Which one is that? The highest tower of cups. The record's only like 73,000 cups, so it can't be that hard. Sure, let's do it. Okay, well, I got some cups here, so ah, let's get started. Okay, so what are we gonna use as a base? Well, what do you mean? I don't know. I guess like because the cups are going to weigh a lot when we put a ton on there, um, we probably should you know have something that's going to be strong for a foundation. Hmm. You're right. I wonder what we could use. Hmm. What about you? What? Well, you're a strong guy. I've seen you hold cups before. You're probably pretty good at it. I don't think you could be good at holding cups. Sure can. Let's do it. Hop up here. Hey. I'm not sure about this, Carl. Nonsense. Just stay still. Carl? Yes. Uh, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Well, don't do that. I'm gonna sneeze. Andy, do not do that. If you do that, everything's gonna fall. Uh, I I can't hold it. Andy? Uh, uh, Andy, uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> well, rats, that's a bummer. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's okay, I knew that wouldn't have worked. I don't even have 73,000 cups. I don't even have 7,300 cups. How many cups do you have? 12. That's right, at least we know that I won't work good for a strong foundation. That's true. I guess we need to find something better, like love. Something better like love? What do you mean by that? Oh, you know, it works for God. God built everything on love, so. Yeah, okay. What was that? I'm just saying, like, I, I think love's great, but I don't think it's the foundation for God's plan. What are you talking about? Of course it is. With all due respect, Carl, no it isn't. Andy, don't make me embarrass you. Carl, let's think about it. How many ways do you think God has been described? Millions of different ways. Exactly, so millions of ways. So you think it all comes down to love? Yep. Okay, what about forgiveness? Throughout the years of Jesus' ministry, we hear about it over and over and over again. So? So I think that might be the foundation over love. Even justice could be it. No, it's gotta be justice. You think about it. The world is covered in sin and disobedience against God. It makes sense that everything God has done for humans was to serve justice. We need justice. Justice could be it, but not totally it. Okay, what about holy? Holy means to be set apart for God, different than anything or anyone else. That's true, God is holy, and he does want us to be holy, but I don't think that's the foundation of God's plan. I really think it's love. Okay, if you think it's love, give me reasons why. Give me three reasons why. Well, I can give you one for sure. John 3.16. That's just a Bible verse. Just a Bible verse? It's like the most famous verse in the world! I have it memorized. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Whoa, that's uh... Powerful, incredible, awe-inspiring. Unbelievable, the one reason that God sent Jesus down to this earth to die on the cross for our sins was because how much God loves us? Yep. Not just for forgiveness or justice or to make us holy, but for love? Isn't that amazing? And when people asked Jesus how to love God best, his reply was kind of the same. He said we should love God with everything we have and love people that much too. That really is amazing. I guess love is the foundation of God's plan. Hey! What? That's our big idea! Really? Yeah! Oh! Today's big idea is love is the foundation of God's plan. So let's say it together on three. One. Two, three. Love is the foundation of God's plan. It right. is. All we need is love. You can't finish the song because of copyright issues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can hum it. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Sony Entertainment is going to come after us. So now that we didn't break any records, what do you want to do? Well, I don't know. I was going to say we go down and try that new Mexican restaurant, but you're allergic to burritos, so. 
I know. I'm sorry. Wait, aren't you allergic to water? <laughs> You're right. I am. That was a close one. Bless you. Thanks. I didn't even sneeze. <laughs> See you next week, kids. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Road Heating.